March is here. The year is cruising along. Are we making the most of the opportunities we get every day? The present is now. Time to turn it over and get into faith. Firm belief in something for which there is no proof. Yet, when we have real faith, we feel absolutely positive about it. First, we'll start with a serenity prayer. Today's reading from the 24 Hours a Day book, a share, then the reading again in case you got distracted. Carpe the diem. Enjoy. God, grant me the serenity to accept the things I cannot change, courage to change the things I can, and the wisdom to know the difference. Grant me patience with the struggles that take time, and appreciation for all that I have, tolerance of those with different struggles, and the strength to get up and try again, one day at a time. Consider, today is yesterday's tomorrow. Carpe the diem, seize the day. It's the only one we have. March 18th, thought for the day. When we alcoholics first came in to Alcoholics Anonymous, and we faced the fact that we must spend the rest of our life without liquor, it often seems like an impossibility to us. So AA tells us to forget about the future and take it one day at a time. All we really have is now. We have no past time and no future time. As the saying goes, yesterday is gone, forget it. Tomorrow never comes, don't worry. Today is here, get busy. All we have is the present. The past is gone forever and the future never comes. When tomorrow gets here, it will be today. Am I living one day at a time? Meditation for the day. Persistence is necessary if you are to advance in spiritual things. By persistent prayer, persistent, firm, and simple trust, you achieve the treasures of the Spirit. By persistent practice, you can eventually obtain joy, peace, assurance, security, health, happiness, and serenity. Nothing is too great in the spiritual realm for you to obtain if you persistently prepare yourself for it. Prayer for the Day I pray that I may persistently carry out my spiritual exercises every day. I pray that I may strive for peace and serenity. If we come into the rooms of Alcoholics Anonymous on a winning streak, we don't get or stay sober. Ha! Huh. Nobody comes in to AA meetings when things are going great. Our self-will and alcohol are still working for us. When we come into our first meeting, we are at the jumping off point where we can't stop drinking on our own and we don't know how to live without alcohol. The sense of relief we used to get from taking a drink is no longer produced from taking that drink. Our friend, alcohol, betrays us and we don't know what to do. Our heads are spinning and we are physically ill. Instant gratification is all we knew. We took a drink and we got relief. Not any longer. We crawl into the rooms of AA and we see people who are happy and they tell us that they used to feel the way we do now. We're still skeptical, but we stay and listen because they know what they are talking about. They appear to have a solution. We want what they have. We want it instantly, though. We are hooked on alcohol and instant gratification. We learn quickly to be patient because time takes time and a little bit of effort on our part just to get started. The process is the destination. We live soberly in the solution, which is God-centered and others-centered. We stop being the victim of our own selfish mindset. Rearview mirror living only kept us in misery and depression. Sober living through the spiritual aspects of the program keep us grounded in the present. The faith in a higher power of our own understanding is impossible if we refuse to be willing to accept where we are today. Once we accept our current circumstance, admit we are powerless over alcohol, we are on the right path to real sobriety based on unselfishness. We have an opportunity to change our lives for the better, not to just improve our horrible situation. We have a design for living now that promises to be more fulfilling and wonderful than we could have ever imagined. 
All we need is a little willingness and effort to get out of our own way, out of our own selfish, fearful thinking. Daily prayer and meditation is the solution. It takes only a start to encourage ourselves to continue. We do continue because it produces better results than the alternative. The good feelings continue and grow day by day. We have a new life. We are reborn into a second life. The serenity prayer is an ask to our higher power for strength and patience to remind us we are not the higher power. We are not in control, and it is better that we are not in control. We are serene and peaceful, which enables us to be useful to others. We are miracles. We are products of a higher power today. Consider, today is yesterday's tomorrow. Carpe the diem. Seize the day. It's the only one we have. March 18th, thought for the day. When we alcoholics first came in to Alcoholics Anonymous and we faced the fact that we must spend the rest of our life without liquor, it often seems like an impossibility to us. So AA tells us to forget about the future and take it one day at a time. All we really have is now. We have no past time and no future time. As the saying goes, yesterday is gone, forget it. Tomorrow never comes, don't worry. Today is here, get busy. All we have is the present. The past is gone forever, and the future never comes. When tomorrow gets here, it will be today. Am I living one day at a time? Meditation for the day. Persistence is necessary if you are to advance in spiritual things. By persistent prayer, persistent, firm, and simple trust, you achieve the treasures of the Spirit. By persistent practice, you can eventually obtain joy, peace, assurance, security, health, happiness, and serenity. Nothing is too great in the spiritual realm for you to obtain if you persistently prepare yourself for it. Prayer for the Day I pray that I may persistently carry out my spiritual exercises every day. I pray that I may strive for peace and serenity. Please subscribe for more videos. Thank you for watching.